Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCIE 12933 here, and in today's three-minute tutorial, we're going to take a look at passwords encrypted and otherwise on a Cisco router. We're going to be using live equipment here in just a moment, and also a dirty little real-world secret that might just pop up on the exam, but it's something you definitely want to know for the real world as well. There is a previous three-minute tutorial where we actually configured the different passwords we're about to take a look at, so if you missed that one, head out to YouTube or a video sharing site that you prefer and search for that particular video because what we ended up with was something like this. We created an, or configured I should say an enable secret, an enable password, a console password and a VTY line password for our telnet connections. We didn't put one on the auxiliary line but we could have done that as well. What we also noted near the end of that video is that by default only one of these passwords is encrypted. So if someone's looking over your shoulder, the over-the-shoulder network attack, and this has happened, they look over your shoulder in the network room and say, oh, you know, okay, the telnet password is this, you know, and here's the enable password up here if you didn't have the enable secret set. So they can see these passwords in clear text, and we might not want that to happen. Now I'm going to show you a command that will encrypt all of these passwords, and even if you know what this command is, hang around because I want you to know something uh, that not all the study guides mentioned but definitely a real world tip for this particular command. Let's go ahead and bring the live equipment up and you can see the enable secret again that's going to be encrypted by default. Remember this is not the actual password. If you try to type dollar sign one dollar sign BB at the enable prompt you're not going to be able to get into that mode. But what we want to do is encrypt this password and our VTY and console passwords that we see here near the bottom. And let me run show config one more time because you're not going to see every service mentioned on a Cisco router's config, but one that you do see often is no service password encryption. So this service is turned off by default, and what we're going to do, frankly, is just turn it on. And we do that in global config mode with the command service password encryption. And actually I'll show you a little extra real world bonus here about how many services we have that we can turn on and off. There are a lot of them. You'll be picking these up later. Uh, don't worry about trying to learn all of those right now. But we want service password encryption turned on. And I'll go ahead and just do a quick save there. Then we'll take a look at the config and then I want to give you some really important real world information about that particular command because what we should see now is all of our passwords will be encrypted. We'll give that just another moment here. Let's do a quick show config and you'll notice now the enable password has been encrypted and if we go to the bottom you'll see now the passwords on the console and VTY lines have been encrypted and if we had one on the auxiliary line it would have been encrypted as well. So that's fantastic, right? I mean we will never have any problems with that. You know, they're encrypted and they can never ever be cracked or viewed and you can already tell by my tone of voice that's just not the case. Uh, the encryption that's used by the service password encryption command is not as strong as the MD5 encryption that's used by enable secret. And to be very blunt with you, neither one of these is particularly strong. And Cisco's website even mentions this as well. I'm not going to read you the entire thing, but you can see there the second line where it mentions not designed to protect against serious analysis by even slightly sophisticated attackers. That's a really nice way of saying, by the way, there are programs out on the net that can crack this in about 10 seconds. And that's no state secret. I mean, those, those programs are everywhere. So while it's important for your exam to know about the service password encryption command, which you just saw in action, and you need to know, of course, the enable secret password is hashed by default, you also need to know for the real world that those are easily crackable. So they're good to have, you know, just to prevent casual network attacks, people looking over your shoulder and seeing what they are, uh, but I wouldn't get rid of our other security features just yet. Do make sure to look up that other password video in our latest three-minute tutorial series, and I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE 12933.